YouTubers, what's going on? Got another video. This one is about wrinkles and how to prevent the bulk of your wrinkles when you're doing upholstery. A lot of the wrinkles come from the foam detaching from the fabric or the fabric detaching from the foam. And then when you sew it, it's not in the same spot that it was when it was glued down. So when you put it on the seat, it's going to be like a wrinkle. But they say you can take them out with heat and that's where the steamer come in because it reactivates the glue. And then you are able to attach the foam and fabric back together. Now, in a pinch, the two Loctites are what I use, but my go-to is the Wellwood contact adhesive. Now, the contact adhesive is not as convenient as the Loctites because the Loctites are aerosol. And with the Wellwood, you got to have a compressor and a gun. So I can see where the convenience part comes in and why people would not be... Um, they wouldn't use that as their first choice, especially if you're starting out, because a lot of people don't have, might not have a, a, a compressor or a gun or anything to use that. But that is a must to keep the wrinkles down. Now, in a pinch, I will use this product, the Loctite Spray Adhesive. And I know you like, they both the same, but actually, the red one is a mist. And this one is a web. And when it comes out, it's like a spider web. But the, the tack on it is higher than the mist. So you have less likelihood of the fabric and foam separating from one another. Whereas the mist, if you use the mist, number one, you got more chances of it going anywhere. Like on your floor, um, on the fabric, anywhere. I mean, like, the mist travels, like, it's so light, it, it, I mean, it travels. You know what I'm saying? You will be surprised. So if you do use the mist by chance, make sure you have everything that you do not want glue on covered up. The web, however, is not like that. You can use the web, and it's more controllable than the mist. It has a higher tack and you have a less chance of separation so in a pinch i'll go get the loctite web if i have to use the mist i missed it down i missed it down like i spray a lot more so you you want to use a lot more when you use the mist if you use the mist the web is my go-to excuse me when i um don't have uh Let's say my gun is clogged up and or my compressor ain't working or something like that. Then I go run to the store. I get a couple bottles of this and I keep it moving. But if I have the contact, the wellwood, I use that because when it contacts, it, it contacts. You know what I mean? It's not like it's going to come apart. So keep that in mind when you you putting together your seats because it matters. You know what I'm saying? Um it would make it a lot better. Your your fabric or your ending product would be a lot better depending on the products you use. And I think that's universal for anything. Now, with tools and stuff, you might be able to get away with a cheaper tool. You know, I'm not saying go get the highest of everything. But one other thing you need to keep in mind when you buy... Uh, Spray glue is the fact that not all spray glues are made for foam. As you see, it has foam up here. It don't say it up here, but it says it on the back. And the words are so small for me to spin the can around to show you, you know, you won't be able to see it anyway. But just take my word for it because I use this all the time. And as you see, look, that's 200 and that's 300. So this is for heavy duty stuff. You know what I'm saying? It has a higher tack. It's better. It's a better product to use if you're in a pinch. But again, if you're not in a pinch, grab some of that. Get you a compressor. And now when you get a compressor, you got to get a compressor at least. My first compressor I had was 21 gallons, uh, like 2.5 horsepower. 
I could use it in a 110 um, circuit, which is like a basically a house circuit. And that did good for everything I need. I mean, I could spray cars with that compressor. I could use it for glue. The only thing it wasn't good for is like air tools. But I had upgraded since then, and I got a 29-gallon compressor. Uh, I think it dropped the horsepower to 2 horsepower, but it's still... Uh, it still manages to keep up with the um, the pneumatic tools or the air tools. But keep all that in mind because it's nothing like spending money two times for the same thing. And what I mean is if you buy a compressor that is lightweight one time, you won't have to buy another compressor to do what you need to do. But if you buy what you need to start off with, then you don't have to buy it but one time. And I'm trying to save people money because all this is stuff that I'm I'm telling you through experience. You know what I mean? I, I'm not trying to lead anybody astray or anything. I don't benefit for none of that. But with that being said, just keep that in mind. The one in the middle, that's the go-to. I use that for everything. When I wrap uh, parts, everything. I mean, it's better with the heat. This right here and this right here, if it gets hot enough, it's still going to come apart. You know what I'm saying? But that that well wood, they use it on vinyl tops. The vinyl tops is directly in the sun. You know what I mean? So you don't see them uh, delaminating or um, or not adhering to the roof of the car when it gets hot. You know what I'm saying? Because it's made for that. It's made for it. This stuff right here is not exactly made for that, but... With that being said, keep all those things in mind and um, have fun with it, man. Won't stop, won't quit. Holler at me. Peace.